Sensor problem on first thing, eh? In a yan sensor problem. Calibrate vision sensor with DJ assistant on PC and Mac for higher accuracy. Here actually the yam kango dungupa sensor onko uh disable ka niman yako tarina kata anga uh ni PC ona some for me so what again. My key go uh solve karaga sum. I mean so I can message for some again somebody you can solve this problem by connecting the drone with your PC and uh, taking help from DJ assistant. Morning. So this video is a very short one, uh, where I'll be covering up the uh, process, procedure, how to calibrate the vision sensor in this DJI Mavic Air. Uh, so the first thing, if you don't have the DJI Assistant app, you need to download it from the Google. You can just type DJI Assistant. You can just type this one, DJI Assistant, and click OK. And you can just go there and download this thing from internet and uh, then you can depending on your system whether it's for Mac or Windows you download it since I have I'm using a Windows I'll be downloading this one so you can download since I've downloaded it already so we're showing it directly uh, inside the uh, app uh, so the next thing will be to open up this DJI assistant um, software so you can open this application Yes, do it. There is a message popping up which says, uh, "No, I need to. I need to connect my drone. I need to connect my drone to the PC. So that's the thing to do first. So now, before connecting this drone to the PC, I need to take out this propeller." Uh, both bo uh, both the front and the back propellers before calibrating this one so I need to do that one first okay now we have removed it now it's time to connect this uh, this drone with the PC I need the cable which will connect drone with PC so you can see here connection is done then I need to connect it with the, this micro USB cable with my PC then turn the this device drone on power on drone <clears throat> okay now the message is different now I have uh, this inside I have got one uh, system pop-up that is maybe care okay I need to click on this updating no fly zone database is required ignore let me just ignore it for now then there is an option out here in this site uh, that is uh, firmware update log calibration system simulation I'll just click this calibration and then yeah hold the aircraft facing the screen so there is a tutorial going on out here a very uh, brief tutorial so I do face this towards the screen and up and move from left to right okay so up right left down go this way so these are the tutorials and this way i need to finish my when calibrating make sure the usb does not block the rear rear vision sensor so it, it should not block when calibrating this like so i'll click cal calibrate now <coughs> so the first thing is to uh, the front one hold the aircraft with the forward vision camera towards okay i need to bring this thing yeah now it's uh, i need to match this red line with the green line yeah it's done now i need to when the, where the mark is i need to go there with the bracketing 
just like this I'm going okay it's very easy it's very simple you just need to follow the instruction okay yeah yeah okay now done move the aircraft slowly away and it just win backwards okay hold there the alignment will depend on your screen also so start downward calibration trying to do this now this part okay this way I need to hold the camera and start doing these uh, two sensors out here so I'll just rotate the aircraft to the left degree okay like this I need to like this I need to hold not not like this this is the not right way there is a message coming up popping up in the screen uh, attitude error rotate the aircraft to the left by 90 degrees so I need to I'm holding it wrong so I need to rotate it this way so now the message is gone now I just need to match the uh, red lines red bracket with the green one so it's done then I just need to move slowly uh, yeah and this way this way this way and this way okay Okay, okay, this one done, this one done, this one done, this one done. Okay, next one. Okay, now the other sensor from the same side. Okay. Okay, downward calibration complete. Now the rear sensor calibration. Make sure that this uh, uh, cable should not block the sensor. There's two other sensor and this is the cable, so it should not block it. So let me just uh, take it this way. So now if I put this, if I put this uh, cable like this, then it will not uh, block the sensor. This is unable to calibrate. So now I just need to match this thing, red red with the green bracket okay done okay it's, okay it's going well So now it's taking time to calibrate success aircraft, restart the aircraft. So that's the way how to do it. It's very simple, not a difficult task, but uh, if you have not done it before, it kind of feel a uh, little bit uh, tricky, but it's a very simple thing. Okay, thank you for watching.